And that's it. Now I'm done. I'm done with the phones. I, 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 I give up. I can't do the phone anymore. That, that was the last straw for me. If you have a flip phone, I'm envious of you. I'm going back to one. I got the new iPhone 27. That's the last one I'm buying. Got the one with the gutters and the kickstand or whatever they come with now, and it's over. I, I can't... I, the phone... If you have a flip phone, you still get phone calls, right? And you know if the thing goes off, somebody's calling you because that's your only option. Like, everybody else, your phone vibrates in your pocket, one of 138 options that it could possibly be, right? These aren't, these aren't phones. These are blocks of shit with choices. That's what these are. Your phone is a choice on this thing. If you had to make a phone call, you would have to sift through 37 apps trying to find where you hid your phone one day behind all the other stuff that's more important, right? These things do everything but make a phone call. You go, hey, I, I want to get directions. I'll use your phone. I want to read a book, use your phone. I want to listen to music, use your phone. I got to level a picture, use your phone. I want to make a phone call, use your watch. <laughs> That's how backwards we've messed up this country now. People are using their phone to check the time and using their watch to make a call. <laughs> Stupid. If I had my way with these phones, if I had my wish list, one thing I could change, it would be to eliminate the camera functionality off the phone entirely. Get rid of the camera. There are way too many pictures in this country. Uh, boring pictures, stupid pictures. Uh, the world is not that interesting to where we need to see it all in still images. It, it used to be you go somewhere, you see something beautiful, you come back, you relay that verbally to somebody else and communicate it through your beautiful words recreating the picture, and that was called a conversation. That was how that used to go. We don't do that anymore. We take pictures of shit that people could see right in front of them and then show them it on a condensed screen, go, oh, look at that, isn't that good? You're like, yeah, it's right there. I can see it right there. No, but it looks cool here. I took a picture of it. Yeah, but it's still right fucking there. I don't need to see it there. I don't need that. Pe people come out to my shows. I'm not around a lot. People come out to my shows live, and they stop listening to me to take a picture of me. They stop listening to me live to take a picture of me. Then they tag the person next to them in the photo. Their phone goes off in the middle of my show. They stop listening to me, and they go, oh, I'm tagged in a photo. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You don't have to, you don't have to tell people where they are. People know where they are. You don't have to say you're here when they're there. When you're there, you let them be there. That's the whole goddamn point of being there is to be there. These things have been people taking pictures of themselves in front of a mirror. Am I losing my mind or is that what a fucking mirror is for is to see yourself? You don't need a picture of yourself seeing yourself seeing yourself? <laughs> How big of an ego could you possibly have that you need to see a picture of yourself twice removed? <laughs> Why are you doing that? They go, well, I just want to be able to remember it. Well, then use your memory. <laughs> are we still familiar with that concept, the memory? Remember when God gave us a memory card? No, a memory, not a memory card, huh? When your memory fills up the capacity, you don't get to pop it out pop in a new one. When your memory fills up, you gotta start letting go of some of the old shit to make way for some of the new shit, and that's called progression. That's how you move forward in life. You don't need to be waterboarded by every memory that you hated in life. Facebook fucks you over. You, you log on, and go, hey, on this day a year ago, nobody was at your show, here's what a fucking loser you were. I don't need that in my life. I don't need that. I know what a loser I am. I don't need to be reminded by my technology over and over and over. I want to lie a little bit once in a while. <laughs> you don't need that. But people, it's, it doesn't make sense for these fucking... Ooh, it's in there. Just... <laughs> people think they have a camera, so they're a photographer. That's not how it works. I own a fire extinguisher. I'm not a fireman. Do you get that? <laughs> I don't get to strap it on my back and go walking around acting like I'm a member of the squad. There's a purpose for it. Make any sense to me? It, people, that's why disposable cameras were the best. You used to have 24 chances to get your vacation right. That was it. <laughs> 24 chances to get your vacation right, and, and it counted down on you to make it even better, which forced a panic to make a decision: is that piece of shit worth it enough to waste one of my 24 options on it? So much so that you came home with pictures remaining on the camera. 
there were still pictures left on the camera because you were out living your trip, not documenting the whole thing like you were Columbus finding the new world. You come home and there was three pictures left on your camera. You had to use them. You'd walk around your house and take a picture of your dog and your cat and shit around the house. And now it looks like they went to France with you. You got one picture in front of the thing you wanted if you were lucky. You remember that with the disposable camera? You're dead, line up, say cheese. You blinked, fuck you, get him next year, let's go. Get up there, line up, my thumb's in the way that happens. My dad would have slapped the shit out of me if I would have asked him for more than one picture in front of something with a disposable camera. Not people today, hey, can you get a picture of me like this? And another one like this, hey, Oh, this is creative, nobody does this ever. Get this one here. Hey, zoom in and get this one. Ooh. That stupid fucking duck face that every girl is making on social media now. Ooh. Hey, you wanna get laid? Make your cute faces, right? Ooh. It's prom, tits out, lips out. <laughs> Sticking your neck out like a giraffe and your lips out like a duck and you're bitching. All I ever attract are animals. Well then stop fucking posing like one. <laughs> pictures with a disposable camera. Nobody takes their own pictures anymore. Let's with a selfie stick. You, you see these egomaniacs out there with this shit? I know, let's clear out a perimeter of like 45 feet. Let's take a few pictures in here. Hey, come here. <laughs> Hang on, this guy's photobombing us. Photobombing? You're taking up the whole goddamn street, lady. If you want a true selfie, sit on your selfie stick, because you're an asshole. My rule is, if you don't have a friend willing to take a picture of you, then you don't deserve documentation of the event. <laughs> Just my rule. I can't, I can't make sense of that logic. When, when cameras cost five bucks and were disposable, we took our own pictures. Five dollar cameras took our own pictures. Now that cell phones cost $700, we hand them to strangers. <laughs> and then ask him if they'll do us free shit. <laughs> hey, sir, 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 come here. You see these nine hot girls over here? Can you take a couple of pictures of us, huh? Would you mind, would you mind taking a bunch of pictures of us here? You go, yeah. If I'm honest, I would mind. That's not my group. I wasn't invited to the party and I don't do freelance photography for drunks on the side. <laughs> and, and if I do take your picture, you don't get to look at it, critique my work, and then ask me to take another one. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> The arrogance of people in this world, oh, that's not good. Could you take another one, huh? Could you get my good side? Can you come over here and get my good side? Just get the good side. You're like, eh, maybe it's you, huh? Maybe it's you. Did you ever think of that? Maybe you're ugly. Maybe, maybe you don't have a good side. Is that possible that both sides look the same and they both look like shit? Is that an option? I'm just bringing it to the table. Is that possible? Can you do that anywhere you go? The good side cop out? Can you go to a job interview? Can you just hire me for my good side? Not really employable from the left here. One night stand, can you just, can you just do me for my good side here? I just do it, it'd be the right of your life from the left. The right side's kind of low, saggy, and loose. Would you mind just doing me right but from the left? Get my good side here. Yeah. Good side, aren't you symmetrical? Aren't you a reflection of yourself? What are you, a Bell's palsy? How is one side different than the other? It's you. Cell phones have messed everybody up. You ever do this? You ever gonna show somebody a picture on your phone? And they just grab your phone and start swiping through the photos on their own? And you sit there with a mini panic attack? Because you don't know what kind of perverted shit you had on the left and the right side of the one photo you wanted them to see? Jesus Christ, what are you doing? I don't know how many pictures deep in my dick is, but you're bound to get to it. You keep swiping left. anything explainable on your phone either. It's always horrific shit in the worst order. It's always a picture of my niece wedged between Bozo at the Holocaust and a nun with a dildo, and I can't explain how that happened in sequence. 